of the night. BBC News at one o'clock. This is Nick Qureshi. Britain's chief Brexit negotiator has warned the EU that the UK isn't scared of having no trade deal at the end of the transition period. Lord Frost has told the Mail on Sunday that Boris Johnson won't compromise on Britain having control of its own laws. His EU counterpart, Michel Barnier, has expressed disappointment about a lack of concessions from the UK. Leading scientists have warned the country faces a critical moment in the battle to contain coronavirus. Infection rates are growing among young adults as students return to university. Laura Ogden is starting a degree in York. It is a bit annoying that if one person in your accommodation gets COVID, you'll all have to isolate for several weeks, even if you might not have it. But if that's what's needed to prevent outbreaks throughout the whole university... It will be worth it. I just hope the cases are identified early on. Tougher coronavirus measures are being imposed in Bolton in Greater Manchester because of a rising number of cases. They affect more than a quarter of a million people. The head of the CBI has urged the Treasury to extend its support for companies hit hard by the pandemic. Dame Carolyn Fairburn says that without help, there could be widespread redundancies. Here's our business correspondent, Katie Austin. With the furlough scheme tapering off and due to end altogether in October, decisions over possible job losses are looming for firms who still have staff on furlough, but not yet enough trade to bring them all back. Calls have been building for an extension or replacement. Describing the autumn as a watershed time when it came to an economic recovery, Carolyn Fairburn told the Financial Times many companies in sectors such as travel and hospitality would find a cliff-edge end to the job retention scheme very differently difficult to manage. She said a package of further support for businesses should include a replacement with less generous terms and more targeted at companies most in need. Two men are in hospital after being stabbed at an underground station in East London. It's believed they got into an argument on a staircase at West Ham. Amazon has deleted thousands of product reviews by people in the UK over claims users have profited from leaving five-star ratings. The company's begun an investigation. In football, England have struggled to a 1-0 victory over Iceland in the Nations League. Raheem Sterling scored a late penalty before Iceland missed their own spot kick. Debutant Phil Foden impressed the manager, Gareth Southgate. We know there's a super player there and I thought he did very well. I I think a really difficult game for him to come into. No space at all in the middle of the field. Uh, They're very compact depth and width. You know, he showed early on with some of the through passes and little touches what he's capable of. And Lewis Hamilton will be on pole position for the Italian Grand Prix. The British world champion posted the fastest qualifying lap in Formula One history. BBC News, it's three minutes past one. Across BBC Local Radio and BBC Radio 5 Live, Jim Davis. And we're away Sunday morning, 6th of September. Hello, good morning. It's Jim Davis here with you now through till 5 o'clock as we go live across the UK on BBC Local Radio, BBC Radio Ulster, BBC Radio Wales, BBC Radio Scotland, and of course on BBC Radio 5 Live. I hope you're well wherever you are this morning. Thank you for tuning in. And our conversation will continue. The lights are on, the lines are open. We are live through the night. Carla and Bill are with me this morning through the glass, ready to take your call if you fancy joining me on the air this morning. Uh, All you need to do is pick up the phone and call us for free. The number you need is 0800 731 2000. Uh, and I appreciate that's a different number from the one you might be used to, depending on uh, which station you're listening to us on this morning. So I'll repeat it regularly through the uh, course of the programme. Once again, we're coming to you from the studios of BBC Radio London this morning. And uh, our number here, 0800 731 2000. But from wherever you call us in the UK, that's a free call from any landline or mobile phone. Uh, you can text, of course, as well, if you prefer, 81333, starting your text with the letters UK. Texts are charged at your standard network rate, though, so do be aware of that. Or you can email me for free anytime, jim at bbc.co.uk. If you want to drop your thoughts through on an email, you'll be very welcome to do that too. Uh, yesterday we had a, a, a fascinating conversation through the course of the early hours. Uh, I was uh, emboldened by many of your calls and subsequent emails and 